Hello and welcome to B2B Twin, the podcast for sales reps and sales managers who want to succeed in the world of B2B social selling. Tony Hackett is my name, and I'm coming to you from the land of the Gadigal people. I have over 35 years B2B sales experience in the tech industry, and the last five years has been heavily focused on social selling using text, video, and audio. In this podcast, we'll be sharing valuable insights, tools, and techniques that'll help you create effective B2B social selling content. Whether you're a seasoned pro or new to the game, we'll keep you up to date on best practices, top trends, and actionable insights from industry leaders. So sit back, grab your headphones, and join us as we dive into everything you need to know about B2B social selling. Let's get started. Integrating Social Selling with Sales Strategy In today's digital age, sales and marketing channels are more intertwined than ever before. As such, it is important to integrate social selling into your overall sales strategy to maximize its impact. Incorporating social selling into your sales activities creates numerous benefits that work toward improving sales performance. One key advantage is that it helps in establishing personal connections with potential customers. Social selling encourages the use of a personalized approach rather than relying solely on automated tools, such as email or chatbots, allowing for a better connection between the seller and prospective buyer. Another benefit derived from implementing social selling techniques in your sales strategy is that it helps in enhancing your brand image. By sharing informative posts related to industry insights or highlighting success stories related to your product or service, you can develop credibility within your target market. With time, this establishes customer trust, which can culminate in increased conversions through word-of-mouth advertising. Additionally, social selling enables organizations to conduct comprehensive lead generation activities without necessarily pushing products directly at potential clients. Through engagement-based initiatives, such as hosting discussion forums or webinars on relevant topics, businesses generate interest within their target audience, whilst collecting leads for future follow-up. Ultimately, integrating social selling techniques into your overall sales strategy drives revenue growth by increasing conversion rates and expanding market share penetration while fostering deeper customer relationships that lead to repeat business over time. To maximize the efficiency of a social selling campaign, there are several best practices one should consider when formulating this initiative, and here are a few. Number one, leverage platform algorithms. Understand the inner workings of the platform. How is information presented to users? What kind of interactions drive more visibility? And optimize your content strategies accordingly. Number two, craft engaging content. Create content that resonates with your target audience. Use keyword optimization to ensure that your posts are discoverable. And number three, monitor activity. Assess engagement rates and analyze data related to user behavior within platforms. This way you can improve personalization approaches and tailor social selling campaigns according to client needs. Next, goals, objectives, and social. Sales goals and objectives are crucial to the growth and success of any business. They help sales teams focus on what's important, motivate their actions toward a specific end, and provide a benchmark for measuring progress. In order to achieve these goals, however, it's important to understand how social selling can support them. Building relationships. Social media provides an excellent opportunity to engage with prospective clients on a regular basis. Posting engaging content that's relevant and informative helps in building relationships over time by fostering trust with potential clients, even before making contact offline. You can also use these platforms to join online groups relevant to your industry and participate in conversations there which build rapport and helps you network organically. Generating new leads. Incorporating social selling as part of an overall strategy can help uncover new leads by accessing a list of connections built over time across multiple channels, such as LinkedIn or Twitter, and their search options based on specific criteria like industry or location. Gaining intelligence and insights. One major advantage of using social media for sales purposes is gathering competitive intelligence, gaining insights into competitor trends like promotions or services offered through online profiles so that you are better positioned against the competition when dealing directly with clients. Setting goals for social outcomes. Like any other sales strategy, integrating social selling into your overall plan 
requires setting specific goals and objectives. These can include metrics, like the number of social media connections and followers, or the amount of user engagement through likes, shares, or comments generated within a specific time frame. In addition to these numbers-based goals, it is important to create customer-centric targets that focus on end-user engagement, as well as lead generation. This could mean things like creating customized content messaging for certain accounts based on what was learned from interpreting insights gathered through monitoring prospect data for organizations. Next, aligning personas and funnel. In order to achieve optimal results from social selling, it is important for businesses to align their social selling efforts with their buyer personas and sales funnel. Doing so can help companies properly identify potential customers and develop tailored strategies that will enable them to build meaningful relationships with those individuals. Buyer personas are fictional characters that represent the ideal customer for a particular business. They are typically based on market research, customer feedback, and demographic data. Creating buyer personas allows businesses to gain a better understanding of who their target audience is, what they care about, and what motivates them to purchase a product or service. By aligning social selling efforts with buyer personas, businesses can tailor their messaging and content to resonate more strongly with potential customers. For example, if a company's ideal customer persona is environmentally conscious and interested in sustainable products, the business can focus its social selling efforts on highlighting its eco-friendly offerings. In addition to aligning social selling with buyer personas, it is also important for businesses to integrate these efforts into their sales funnel. The sales funnel is the process by which potential customers move through various stages of the purchasing process, from initial awareness of a product or service to making a purchase. Effective social selling requires an understanding of where customers are in the sales funnel, so that appropriate techniques can be used at each stage. For example, during the awareness stage of the funnel, businesses might use social media posts or advertisements that introduce potential customers to the company's offering. During the consideration stage, companies may leverage case studies or testimonials on LinkedIn or other platforms to establish credibility and assist prospects in decision-making. Social selling provides significant benefits for businesses when it is aligned with buyer personas and integrated into their sales funnel. By doing so, companies are able to connect more effectively with potential customers, building long-term relationships that lead to repeat business and ultimately drive revenue growth. Next, social selling playbook. Once you have a clear understanding of your buyer's personas, needs, and interests, you can tailor your social selling approach to meet those needs. By providing valuable content that addresses their problems or concerns through various social media channels or platforms, such as Facebook pages or groups, Twitter profiles, or through LinkedIn groups, you should be able to build trust and credibility with prospects while simultaneously creating demand for the product or service. In addition to aligning with buyer personas, it's also important to integrate social selling into the sales funnel. The sales funnel is a process that involves attracting prospects at the top of the funnel via blog posts on the website, email signups, etc., engaging them in conversation through relevant content or personal messaging on social media channels, middle of the funnel, nurturing these leads into becoming paying customers by providing specific solutions using landing pages, bottom of the funnel. Social selling should be integrated at every stage of this process to create a cohesive journey for prospects that empowers them to make informed buying decisions. To fully leverage the power of social selling within the sales process, businesses should also develop a consistent and repeatable playbook. A playbook lays out each step involved in the sales process and assigns specific tactics or activities for each stage. For example, during the outreach and engagement phase, you may share articles related to a prospect's interest areas or ask questions about certain pain points. This ensures that all members of the team are on the same page when it comes to social selling and helps to build a consistent customer experience. The first step in creating a playbook is to identify your company's social selling objectives. What are your long-term goals in terms of revenue growth or market share? How does social selling fit into these objectives and what specific activities must be taken to achieve them? Once you've outlined your social selling objectives, it's time to develop a set of tactics for each stage of the sales funnel. For instance, the approach may vary based on the size of an organization or its vertical industry. Next, integrating your sales tech stack. Integrating social selling into your sales strategy can provide numerous benefits, including a wider reach, increased engagement, more targeted messages, 
and ultimately higher conversion rates. Incorporating social selling tactics within your sales funnel allows for engaging prospect allows for engaging prospective buyers throughout their entire journey, from the awareness stage all the way through to decision making. The goal should not only be lead generation, but also lead nurturing during each stage of the funnel. To ensure long-term success in social selling, it's important for businesses to develop a consistent and repeatable process through the creation of a social selling playbook that would, firstly, outline your unique approach that reflects your buyer personas and sales funnel objectives, and include steps involved in creating message themes and content types for each stage of your sales pipeline. Finally, integrating social selling into your CRM and sales tech stack allows for more targeted communication with prospects and a better understanding of their interactions. You can also automate certain communication as required, which ensures that no leads are lost during the process while monitoring the success rate of each conversation in real time. Next, content that aligns with strategy. When crafting your messaging strategy, it's important to first consider your target audience. Who are they? What do they care about? How can your product or service solve the problem or fulfill their needs? The next step is to align your messaging with your sales strategy. What are your goals for social selling? Are you looking to generate leads, close deals, or build relationships? Your messaging should reflect these objectives and be tailored to the specific stage of the buyer's journey. If you're targeting prospects in the awareness stage, your messaging should focus on educating them about the problem that your product solves and establishing your brand as a thought leader in the industry. In contrast, If you're targeting prospects in the decision stage, your messaging should focus on demonstrating how your product can specifically help solve their unique problem and providing social proof via case studies and customer testimonials. Once you have a clear understanding of who you're targeting and what message will resonate with them at each stage of the buyer's journey, it's time to develop a content plan. This involves identifying the types of content that will best serve those prospects at each stage of the journey. For example, In the awareness stage, you may want to create blog articles or videos that educate prospects about broader industry trends and challenges. In contrast, in the decision stage, you may want to create targeted demos or product overviews that showcase how your product addresses specific pain points. It's also important to consider where this content will live. Does it belong on your website? Should it be shared through social media channels? Will it be used as part of an email marketing campaign? Overall, Creating a content and messaging strategy that aligns with your sales strategy is a critical component of successful social selling. Understanding your target audience, their needs and challenges, and developing content that speaks to their unique persona throughout the buyer's journey will help attract interested parties and establish trust in your brand. Next, adopt social as a daily routine. Social selling is not just a buzzword, it's a way of life. With the majority of B2B buyers now starting their purchasing process online, it's critical that sales teams are equipped with the tools and techniques they need to succeed in today's digital landscape. But implementing social selling isn't just about providing sales reps with a few tips and tricks. It requires a fundamental shift in mindset and behavior. Here are some steps you can take to train and coach your sales team. Start with why. Before introducing any new concept or technique to your team, it's important to explain why it matters. Outline the key benefits of social selling, such as increased lead generation, greater engagement with prospects, and shorter sales cycles, so that your team understands the value proposition. Set clear expectations. Once you've explained why social selling is important, it's essential to set clear expectations for what success looks like. Define specific metrics that will be used to measure progress, such as the number of new leads generated from social media, and make sure everyone knows what's expected of them. Provide ongoing training. Social media platforms are constantly evolving, which means that training needs to be ongoing. Offer regular training sessions on how to use specific platforms effectively, along with best practices for engaging with prospects online. Lead by example. As a manager or sales leader, setting an example is crucial when it comes to social selling adoption. If you expect your team members to engage on social media and share content regularly, then you need to do the same. Provide feedback. Regular feedback is essential for improving performance and ensuring that your team stays on track. Provide constructive feedback on individual performance, both positive and negative, 
along with regular coaching sessions to help them improve. Recognize and reward. Acknowledge and reward success as your team adopts social selling. Celebrate milestones, such as hitting a target number of LinkedIn connections, and provide incentives for meeting or exceeding goals. By following these steps, you can help your sales team embrace social selling as part of their daily routine. This will not only improve their performance, but also position your organization for success in the digital era. Next, social performance and ROI. Measuring the return on investment of your social selling efforts is essential to demonstrate its value to your organization. Set clear objectives. Start by defining what you want to achieve with social selling. This could be increasing sales, generating leads, building brand awareness, or improving customer engagement. Your objectives should be specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. Smart. Identify relevant metrics. Once you have your objectives in place, identify the KPIs that will help you track progress toward these goals. These metrics could include website traffic from social media channels, conversion rates from social media leads, and engagement rates on posts or content shared on social media platforms. Use analytics tools. There are many social media monitoring tools available that can help you track KPIs, such as Twitter Analytics or LinkedIn Insights, which provide detailed reports on follower growth alongside post engagement statistics. Evaluate results. After gathering data over a defined period of time, evaluate how efficient or effective your efforts have been by measuring against established benchmarks for each metric identified previously. Make adjustments. Use insights gained from analyzing your data to make refinements in your approach as necessary. Whether it is developing new inbound tactics or adjusting messaging strategies for better alignment with target buyers. Social selling performance analytics take time and effort, but once set up with solid goals, tracking will become second nature to teams looking to capitalize on emerging opportunities. Next, integrating sales channels. For businesses looking to maximize the impact of their social selling efforts, it's important to integrate social selling activities with other sales and marketing channels. This requires an approach that considers different touch points along the customer journey. One necessary integration point is between social selling and email marketing. By combining your social media outreach with email campaigns, you can create a powerful multi-channel approach that ensures maximum visibility among prospects. For example, You can use targeted LinkedIn outreach to find potential leads and follow up via email with personalized messages that drive engagement. Alternatively, you can create customized social media ads that encourage prospects to sign up for email newsletters or other content offerings. Another area where integration is critical is at events and conferences. Here, social selling can be used to help identify key attendees beforehand and create meaningful interactions during the event itself. For instance, You can use LinkedIn's advanced search features to find attendees and reach out through personalized messages or by sharing relevant content related to the event topic. During the conference itself, you can leverage this information for in-person networking opportunities or by connecting on site via social media. Of course, it's also important to integrate your social selling activities with other digital channels like SEO advertising campaigns or webinars. By aligning all elements of your sales funnel in this way, you'll be able to present a cohesive message at every touch point along the customer journey. The benefits of this integrated approach are clear. High conversion rates across multiple channels thanks to more personalized messaging delivered through a variety of digital channels, as well as having access to precise data-driven insights into prospect engagement across all channels in one place, leading to better decision-making and optimized ROI. While the process of integrating social selling with other sales and marketing channels can be complex, it's an investment that can pay off for businesses looking to stay ahead in today's hyper-competitive marketplace. By leveraging a multi-channel approach that combines social media, email, events, and more, you can create a sales ecosystem that is truly greater than the sum of its parts. Next, optimizing social strategy. Simply adopting a social selling strategy is not enough. To achieve long-term success, it is crucial to optimize your approach, and the following tips can help you optimize for long-term success. Number one, define your target audience. 
Understanding their interests, pain points, and behaviors will help you create content that resonates with them on a personal level. Number two, identify the right platforms. Not all social media platforms are created equal. Each has its unique strengths and weaknesses. Number three, personalize your messaging. Generic messaging doesn't cut it anymore. Use social listening tools to gain insights into what your prospects are interested in or talking about. Number four, share relevant content. Sharing valuable content that educates or entertains. Look for high quality content from reputable sources that align with the interests of your prospect. Number five, establish thought leadership. Position yourself as a subject matter expert by creating original content. This will boost brand awareness as well as encourage engagement within your industry. Number six, engage regularly. Consistent engagement with prospects through likes, comments, and shares won't only increase visibility, but also build rapport. And number seven, measure performance metrics. Track metrics so you understand what is working and what's not, providing insights on where to fine-tune your approach. Thanks for tuning in to this episode of the B2B Twin Social Selling Podcast. We hope you found our insights and tips helpful. Remember, building strong relationships is key when it comes to successful social selling. Connect with your prospects on a human level, provide value, and watch your sales soar. If you enjoyed this episode, please subscribe so you never miss a new one. And if there's a topic you'd like us to cover in an upcoming show, feel free to reach out and let us know. Thanks again for listening, and we'll see you next time on B2B Twin.